Well, there are now numerous reports suggesting this may have been a planned attack linked to somebody, most likely Al-Qaeda in Libya. Intelligence experts point out the attacks occurred just after the terror group's leader called for militants to seek revenge for the death of Al-Qaeda's number two there. In fact, they had just put out a video on 9-11 saying that, yes, a drone strike did kill the guy, but he was killed back in June. Finally, they acknowledge it on the same day this attack happened. According to the reporting of the Associated Press, the death of that leader was the biggest setback to that branch of Al-Qaeda since the United States killed Osama bin Laden. Adding to that, the embassy attack occurred 11 years to the day of the 9-11 terror attacks. Now a member of the Senate Intelligence Committee, the Florida Senator Bill Nelson, is calling for an immediate investigation of any Al-Qaeda link. Senator Nelson is good enough to join us now from Capitol Hill. Senator, what is this? What does intelligence suggest to us happened here? Well, Shepard, I, I don't know the intelligence yet, uh, but we do know what you just said that all of a sudden this number one guy in al-qaeda that replaced bin laden al-zawahiri puts out a video that was timed for release monday night monday night late and then the attacks occurred the next day uh, and in this uh, video since the death of this number two back in June, uh, the death of number two in all of Al-Qaeda, his name was Al-Libi, he was a Libyan. And the number one Al-Qaeda guy says Libyans should attack Americans. Now the coincidence of the timing is extraordinary and in our investigation into this we obviously need to find out if that is the link or if this was a separately planned attack that was merely coincidental if this was a revenge attack and if there was any state involvement then what well then uh the united states will have to deal accordingly uh the likelihood is there wasn't state involvement this was the incitement of al-Qaeda, of its followers, if that's what proves to be true, uh, without a state involvement. And of course, we'll continue to keep going after the leadership of al-Qaeda. Remember, just a few days ago, the newspapers reported that the number two uh, al-Qaeda leader in Yemen was taken down. Uh, so. The, the progress continues on taking down and dismantling the leadership of al-Qaeda. In, in a vacuum, thousands of miles away, Senator Nelson, would you agree that it seems outside the realm of possibility that on the same day that the United States was attacked by al-Qaeda, the same day that somebody released a video saying, yeah, you killed our guy, and we sh that they would be able to, 20 guys with an RPG, be able to get to our embassy and assassinate our ambassador? Well, we don't know the answer to that, but that is certainly a coincidence that needs to be explored. Or it is possible, since the video had been uh, obviously uh, filmed uh, sometime before, that this was all coordinated with the Al-Qaeda operatives will have to see as it comes out. These guys are fairly good planners and they love to have this kind of revenge stuff that's going on. Uh, so this is what we're gonna have to find out. Well, wh whether it was they or others, somebody was able to get in our embassy in a place where we'd just taken out an Al-Qaeda leader and they had warned that they were going to retaliate and assassinate or at least murder our, our ambassador. S sir, is there a sweeping overhaul or at least a, a sweeping review of security at these sorts of installations around the world now? Well, clearly the security has to be increased. This is the first loss of an ambassador since the 1970s. Uh, and we cannot allow our people to be harmed in this matter. Senator Bill Nelson of Florida. Senator, good to see you. We'll, we'll, we'll follow up on the investigation here. Thank you.